Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a colour palette from just a single photo. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how you can create a really simple effect to create an amazing colour palette from a photo. Now, for instance, you can always make a colour palette just simply using the colour picker tool. But if your photo has a lot of colours or a lot of tones, then it might be difficult to select the right colours. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple effect to really simplify what colours are in your photo. So if you'd like to download any of the pre-selected photos that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description. But without further ado guys, let's get started. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways of creating a colour palette. The first way is actually using the photo itself and using an effect. The second way, I'm actually going to show you how you can actually create colour swatches that you can save as an extra file so you can always go back to it afterwards. And it's actually a handy way of creating colour palettes and colour swatches. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just choose a photo that you would like to create a colour palette from. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this photo, which I got from unsplash.com. Now the first effect I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the effects within Photoshop to create a colour palette from the actual pixels themselves. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to press Command J on the keyboard to duplicate that background layer. So we don't affect the background layer beneath it. Once you've done that, you want to go to Filter, you want to go to Pixelate, and you want to go to Crystallize. Now Crystallize is a way of creating crystal shapes from pixels within the photo. Now if you have it very small, as you can see there isn't much of an effect. But if you increase the size to maybe something around 150, as you can see the crystals in the actual photo themselves become really large and the photo isn't is unusable but you can actually create samples using the color picker tool so we're going to go ahead and just click ok so as you can see it has created a crystal type effect on the photo but now what we want to do is actually sample certain areas that we want to keep as a color palette so we're going to go ahead and click the new layer icon so we can paint on a new layer so it doesn't affect any of the layers beneath it. We're going to go ahead and use the brush tool so I'm going to go press B on our keyboard or you can go ahead and find it on the left hand side tools panel and we're just going to zoom in and this is where you want to sample areas or colours of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a nice hard brush and I'm going to go ahead and select this black colour so if you hold down alt on your keyboard it'll bring up the colour picker tool and I'm going to go ahead and select these blackish here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select a slightly lighter colour, so I'm going to go for something like so. And then I'm going to try and find another colour, so I'll choose that one. And then we'll choose a nice colour there, choose a bright one, and then maybe we'll choose this stone colour. And then maybe this very light stone, and maybe this colour here. So as you can see, I've actually put it in a kind of colour band order so we can easily see it. And all you'll need to do is just simply delete that crystallised layer. So that layer one that we've got there, go ahead and delete that. And just to see what they look like, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a solid colour behind them. So if I do that, and as you can see, what I've done is I've made a colour, I've made a colour palette using those crystal shapes that we used in the effect. So if I go ahead and just delete that uh, colour fill layer, what we can do now is actually place these colours within the photo of your choice. So for instance, if you wanted to use it for colour grading or any other option. But what happens if you want to actually have saved them as a colour table? Well, what we can do is just go ahead and delete that. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and press File, Export, and you want to go ahead and export or save for web legacy. So we'll go ahead and click it like so. An extra dialog box will appear, and this is where we want to choose how many colors we want to select from this photo. So at the moment, I've just got 10 selected, which as you can see in the color table here, we've got 10 here. But for instance, if you want to select more, so for instance, if you want to select 20, we'll go ahead and choose the colors. We'll go ahead and select 20 like so. But for instance, but just for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it nice and short. I'm just gonna select five. So I'll go ahead and select five like so. 
And when it's done, the computer has worked out the most popular or most used colors in this photo, and it sampled them in the color table. Now, if you want to change them into different styles, like for instance, if you want to uh, sort them by hue, luminance, or brightness, what you need to do is go over to the color table. You've got these color table options here, and you just want to go down to sort by either by hue, popularity, or luminance. And that allows you to change the difference. So for instance, if you want to create a gradient, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to choose luminance like so. So all you'll need to do now is just save the color table. So we can do that by again, going back into the menu and we want to go down to save color table. Now you'll need a place to save it on your computer. So I'm just gonna save it as my um, on my desktop. So I'm just going to save it table 1.0 and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So once we've done that, all you need to do is just simply click done because now we're finished with the legacy file. So all you need to do now is to bring it into Photoshop. You'll need to go to your swatches, which again, you can find window and you can go all the way down to where you can see it says swatches. So like here, and as you can see, I've got it activated just here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that out. What we will need to do now is you'll just need to go to your swatches options, which is this small little icon just here you want to go to import swatches. What you want to do is find the file that you've just saved. So I've saved it as table 1.0, which you can see here. So all you need to do is click open. And as you can see, we've got table 1.0 here. So we'll go ahead and click open on there. And as you can see, we've got those colors available in our swatch. But as you can see, there's swatches which allows you to uh, use them for all different types of photos. And obviously you can go ahead and name it. So for instance, you can rename it from table 1.0. You can obviously name it to, for instance, forest colors. So you can use them as a sample of a forest. If you ever want to use either use color grading or use them for any other option, like for instance, any for graphic design or maybe even for a poster. And there we go guys, there are two ways of creating a color palette or color swatch from your photo. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can create a really simple color palette from a photo. And again guys, it works with all types of photos. So definitely give it a go if you're interested. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.